Hey guys, this is uh, Martin from uh, Richter's Fillers. Um, this is the first uh, 2021 uh, production model of our uh, new filler. And it features the new touchscreen interface. Um, we're really excited. Uh, it's uh, just finished, the software is brand new. And we, uh, we packed it with new features uh, like um, uh, a lot of safety features, but also uh, we can read pressure on the, on the touchscreen. We can set all kinds of settings, uh, which makes it easier to fill. And I want to uh, walk you through another, a lot of uh, steps that we uh, added to the, to the software. Um, first of all, let's, uh, let's start it up. Um, when you first start the machine, uh, you get a warning. And uh, the machine is without uh, or uh, error at this moment. So there's no pressure on, uh, on any cylinder, so you can't get hurt. And you get a message that uh, this machine is only for trained professionals. So you have to confirm uh, some, um, some settings. When you press start, you see uh, the, the machine is pressurized. So now we can use it. And uh, when I hit the emergency button, you hear it, the, all the air is uh, flowing out of the machine. Uh, let's start it up again. And let's uh, move to the settings. Um, same as the old machines, we got manual mode. And in this manual mode, you can move all the pistons. You can do the fill pistons, you can do the cabin pistons. You can do it all by hand. Uh, we've added a, a new feature to this, um, and that's semi-auto filling. So you do everything by hand, but when you hit the beer valve, um, the, you can choose either to uh, do it by hand, so open and close, uh, before, for, uh, for cleaning, uh, for instance. We can also do semi-auto mode, so you do everything by hand, but the filling is automatic, so that's new. Um, we have some uh, readings of pressure, bottle pressure, uh, manifold temperature that's been added to the touchscreen. So you can read your uh, manifold temperature. Uh, when it's over a certain temperature, you see you know, the filling is, uh, is not... Uh, uh, you, you, can, you can't fill. Sorry for my English. <laughs> so uh, it needs to be uh, around uh, zero degrees so you can read it on your touchscreen. Uh, we got manifold pressure, so the pressure that's on your manifold that's coming from your bright tank. And we've got bottle pressure, so that's the pressure that's uh, inside your bottle. Uh, normally we have a, a dial on the, on the machine itself, um, and now it's also on your menu. And you can do not a nice stuff with it. Let's go to the settings menu. Um, in settings menu, you've got the same settings that we have in our old versions, but we've added a, tons of stuff. So, for instance, uh, the fill sensor, the sensor on your, uh, on your uh, bottle, so the, the filling level. You can now uh, not only set your filling level, but also the amount of times that it needs to hit that level. So, for instance, when you've got a different type of bottle, uh, for instance, a long neck has a, have, has a different uh, filling cycle than um, a small bottle, because um, the, um, you want to keep it running after it fills you can you can set a, the amount of time that it hits the value um, so uh, after it's done filling you can set the time to keep filling for for instance uh, two milliseconds or something y you can play with it <laughs> excuse me um, pre-purge co2 we in the former um, uh, systems you could only do pre-purge uh, based on time so for instance, you want to do five seconds of pre-purge CO2. Now you can set the time or pressure. So you can say, well, I don't want to have five seconds pre-purge. No, I want to reach one bar, one and a half bar inside my, um, my bottle. Uh, and then you continue filling. So that's new. Uh, and the same is for waiting after filling. So the, the whole filling cycle is completed and you want to f uh, wait until the pressure drops to a certain point you can now set it time-based or pressure-based. Um, that's the settings menu. Let's go back to the auto mode. Um, you see the light dimming. In auto mode, uh, you could start with a button. So we've added one button to, uh, to directly start in auto mode. Um, and what we did, uh, did in, uh, in auto mode is added um, cool new lights. So let's start it up. The door is closing, 
So there's no door on the machine yet. But everything you see now is done by sensors. So uh, we've added a sensor to your capping valve, we've added a sensor to your filling cylinders, we've added sensors uh, to the move pistons, so everything is done by sensors. So um, as soon as the capping head hits the sensor, you know the capping is done. So uh, you don't have to set time anymore, it's all done by a sensor. And even when it doesn't hit the sensor without, within a time frame of, let's say, five seconds, you get an error message on your uh, on your touch screen. Um, also, we've uh, we've added some uh, some nice uh, lights. I don't, know, I don't know if you can see it. Um, this is to show you what in what state the machine is uh, in. So uh, right now it's uh, blinking between uh, red and green. So it's uh, finished. Uh, it's still filling. It's finished capping. Right. So the door is open and you can uh, can add a, a crown cap now. So when you hit the crown cap, you can say, okay, I've added a crown, and now it's green again, so it's uh, finished. 